Hey YouTube, so welcome back to another uh, Atari Jaguar collection, uh, my collection. Uh, this time I'm going to show you uh, just the uh, boxes and cartridges uh, of the Jaguar and Jaguar CD games I've got. I'm going to do the uh, magazines and things in a separate video, uh, just to keep these quite short. So I'll go through these um, individually and uh, I'll st I've, I've stacked these into like um, styles of games uh, and um, pre and post releases uh, where I can. Uh, so the first, I'll show you the first two I've got. Uh, these are just um, boxes of games I don't actually own yet, uh, but the uh, Jaguar fans uh, made boxes for these and I bought them um, when they were made available for sale. So this is a uh, Brett Hall NH Hell Hockey. Um, there is a uh, actual guy who makes these, but I can't remember his name, so apologies for that. Uh, but he does frequent uh, one of the forums, either Atari Age or Jaguar Sector. So that's just uh, Brett's Hall NHL Hockey. I'll try and keep these in frame as I uh, go through them. Um, Space War 2000, this is a, a more glossy box. Um, this is another one I don't have. A very nice box. This one's got the um, white insert as you would find in uh, Jaguar releases and also an instruction manual. I think it's even got a uh, yeah, uh, it's even got the um, cartridge label in there and uh, joypad overlays. So that was quite a nice um, package release. I've just got to get, get the game now. Um, I think I've only seen it on the US site, so I'm just trying to find it um, for a decent price, to be honest. Just bear with me while I get myself organised in this video. So there are two games I've not got yet. And we've got some games here now um, of releases that came um, after the Jaguar. So we've got Painted here, and this is uh, the cartridge version. And this came with uh, the white insert and instructions as well. Uh, it's by Sinister Developments, so that's Painter. We've then got uh, Air Cars 94. And uh, the standard Air Cars. And these are slightly different versions of the game. Uh, you might just be able to make out there uh, the different uh, graphics. You've got the different um, cockpit kind of view down the bottom there. A little bit better views on these ones. So that's Air Cars. We've then got a fairly new release really um, within the last few months. And this is Blackout. I've got uh, three versions of this, uh, two cartridge versions you see here, and a CD version as well. Uh, these cartridge versions, one uh, runs on NTSC only, uh, which I believe is this one. They're both uh, numbered, and the other version is a PAL fixed version, so this is a version that will run on your PAL machine. So that's um, Blackout. Next we've got uh, some different versions of things here, we've got some like beta preservation packs and things in here. So this is uh, got Double Dragon, Dino Dudes, Crescent, Galaxy and Tiny Toon Adventures on. This is a numbered uh, version, this is number 68 of 100. And it's basically got a CD in here as well. Uh, containing backups of the TT030 development drive and HTML manuals for each beta included in this package. So there's a CD and there's a quick uh, instructions of how to get it all downloaded. Quite nice cases on these, quite chunky. This is um, Air Cars KA and this was released by Team Jaguar. This is also numbered, this is number 52 um, of 100. So this was released in 2010 and it's got the instructions in there. 
as well. And then this last one is one you don't really see come up very often now. I bought this one brand new, so I was quite lucky to get in on this one. Uh, this is called Mad Buddies. Uh, it's a one player game, and it's kind of like a Pong kind of uh, blaster game. If you do get a chance to get the, this uh, game, I would recommend it. It is, it is a good game. It's uh, by Force Design. And it's got the various things there, as you can see, multiple power-ups, weapons, uh, driving soundtrack, uh, awesome sound samples, and 10 stages of non-stop world battling shooting action. And that also came with instructions. Nice pink foam surround there to keep your cartridge secure. So we're going to go into um, standard releases now. I'll go through all the Jaguar CD uh, releases I've got just to get those out of the way. Uh, you've already seen my CD collection so I'll just show you the boxes of the ones I've got. Uh, so all these are, are in the um, sealed bags. Obviously they've all been opened uh, bar one which is Space Ace. Uh, this is the first one's Battle Morph and this is obviously the uh, sequel to Cyber Morph and this game is actually Pro Controller compatible. Uh, this was released in 1995. Next we've got Mist. And you can use the uh, memory track cartridge with this one and that was released in 1995 as well. Next is a Highlander, the last of the McLeods. And this was released in 1994. Next we've got Space Ace. I do also have uh, Dragon's Lair but I've not got the long box for that one and I've got uh, Primal Wade as well of which I'm also missing a long box and obviously Vid Grid uh, which didn't come with a long box. This was released in 1995. Oh, I beg your pardon, I do, I do have the uh, long box of Dragon's Lair. Surprising what you've got, what you forget. So this is Dragon's Lair. And this is by ReadySoft, the same guys as uh, Space Ace. And this was released in 1995. Next we've got Boldies. Quite a fun game this one, just takes some time but it is fun. And that was also released in 1995 by Creative Edge. And in the last uh, CD long box we've got here is Hover Strike and Conquered Lands. Uh, this also came on cartridge. And it's a one or two player game. And that was also released in 1995. So they're the uh, CD versions. I'll just show you some cartridge. Oh, well, all my cartridges now. Um, I'll go through them in the kind of geneers they come in. Um, I've put these ones into like the puzzle geneer, uh, simulation kind of geneer. So this one's a Ruiner Pinball. This is a one to four player game. And that was released in uh, 1995. Next we've got a uh, theme park and that is the price I paid for it when it came out uh, from HMV in Leicester, 49.99. It's by uh, Bullfrog Productions Limited and Ocean Software. And 
and it was released in 1995. theme park. Next we've got uh, Pinball Fantasies and this was a, a 21st century entertainment release. And that was also a, a 95 release. Next we've got uh, platformer games. Not an awful lot of platformer games on the Jaguar. Uh, the first one you see there is Bubsy in Fractured Fairy Tales. And it's a one or two player game. I've never played it two player so not quite sure how the two player works. You must have to take it in turns I, I would guess. That was released in 1994. Next we've got a flashback. And this is in the uh, sealed bag, but opened obviously because I've played the game. So that was released in 1994 by US Gold Inc. And I do have uh, the Another World on pre-order, so that's going to be a new game in my Jaguar collection quite soon. That was Flashback, the quest for identity. <clears throat> the next one's Rayman, quite a sought after uh, title. This is by Ubisoft Interactive. And this is a one player game. And that was released in 1995. Next we've got Pitfall the Mayan Adventure. And this is uh, by Activision. Another 1995 release. And the last platform we've got here is Zool 2. And I don't think that's the price I paid for it. Um, I think I got it off eBay. Uh, one of the um, later games I bought. I have owned most of these games from new. Uh, this is the odd one that I've uh, bought second hand. Um, as I've been building up my collection for the Jaguar library. So this is by Gremlin. Interactive and it was released in 1994. A couple here, I didn't really know what engineer to put them in. Um, so we've got uh, Syndicates here and this is by Bullfrog Productions and Ocean Software and it was released in 1995. And then the rather bizarre Attack of the Mutant Penguins. And that was released by Sunrise Games Limited in 1995. Next we've got some kind of like a puzzle arcade games you might call them. Uh, Breakout 2000. And this is a one or two player game. It was released by Telegames uh, and this came out in 1996. So quite a late, late release in the uh, Jaguar library. Breakout 2000. Next is one of my favourite Jaguar games. A lot of people don't like it. Uh, at least uh, get bored of it after a while. Uh, it's called Flip Out. And you're basically flipping coloured tiles to match them onto the grids on the ground and on the walls. And this was a uh, this is released by Guerrilla Systems Corporation, uh, and that was released in 1995. Dino Dudes Evolution Dino Dudes. This is another one I got from HMV, and that is the price I paid for it, 39.99. 
I do actually really enjoy this game. Oh, I've never completed it, so I'll have to try and uh, find some time to do that one day. And that was released by Atari Corp in 1993, so obviously that's one of the uh, release titles. Next we've got Zoop. I've never really got into this game, I find it quite hard, quite fast, so um, yeah, I've never really played it that much. But it is fun, um, what I have played of it, it just gets too hard for me quite quick. It's got 99 levels of action, 4 way play, and that was released in 1995 by Viacom International. Next we've got some shooting games, uh, there's quite a few of these so uh, just bear with me while I get these into shot. Various di different shooting games here, I've not put them into different uh, sections. Uh, you've got your first person shooters, you've got your um, spaceship shooters and all sorts like that. There's the Holy Grail. So the first one I'll show you, um, I haven't got the box for, um, I bought this from Telegames when I bought my brand new CD and it's Iron Soldier 2, all I've got for it is this uh, printed out manual of which uh, Telegames seem to do with their releases sometimes, just do a print out and it came with a, a card slip case. So that's all I've got for Iron Soldier 2, I am looking to buy the box of that and the uh, cartridge version. I'll show you I War. So this is a one or two player game. And it's released by uh, Imagitech Design. Uh, and that saw a release in 1995. I'll leave the Holy Grail to last. Hover Strike. As mentioned earlier, this also came on the Jaguar CD. It's a one or two player game. And that's all a 1995 release. Iron Soldier. And that is what I paid for it, £47.50 pence from Alpha Toys and Video Games. Uh, which I believe, I think it's now um, Game World, which is one of my favourite Leicester shops. So quite ironic that. I uh, even shopped there before Game World was there. But I'm glad it went because Game World's a better shop. So that was a 1994 release. And then we've got uh, Trevor McFur and the Crescent Galaxy. And it took me quite a while to get this one. I uh, only had the cartridge uh, to start off with, so this is quite a really recent edition in terms of years and that came out in 1993 which was a release title and obviously the Cybermorph was the uh, packing game and somewhere I've got the second box because obviously this came in two different versions a 2 meg and a 3 meg uh, just with a, an animated intro is the only difference so there's the two Cybermorph boxes both got the same numbers on I can't remember if the cards have got different numbers. A fantastic game, I do love this game. Uh, a lot of people don't like it, they find it a little bit boring. I do like it. It's a, probably the first uh, 360 um, free flying game I ever played, to be honest. And that was released in 1993. Missile Command 3D, uh, this is the only game that you can use with the uh, unreleased um, Jaguar Virtual Reality headset system. Uh, there's, I think there's only two, maybe three known working systems in the world. Uh, one came, came up for uh, sale on eBay once, but I think the guy wanted around $14,000 or something like that. So obviously you can still play this uh, on the Jaguar without the VR headset and it is still a fantastic game. One, th uh, one worth picking up if you like shooters, it's Pro Controller compatible and that was released in 1995. Next we've got an arcade classic, Raiden, and this is a one or two player game. Uh, 
and it's got 1990 on the case, but uh, I don't think that was ni released in 1990. That was uh, before the Jaguar. I suppose it was licensed uh, when that's what, when it was first released. So that's Raiden. Next we've got uh, Defender 2000, which is uh, obviously a game Jeff Minter worked on. And it's uh, published by Williams. I think this is uh, probably the only title Williams released on the Jaguar. It is a good game, but a lot of people say it's not uh, as good as uh, Protector, which I will show you in a minute. Just noticed there's a bit of damage on the box there, so I might pick up another box at some point. That's released in 1995. And here we have Protector. This is the uh, SE edition, the special edition, so I've yet to get up, pick up the uh, standard edition. This was uh, released by Songbird Productions in the USA. I'm not sure of the release date of that one, but uh, it certainly wasn't 1989. I guess that's when he bought the whites for the game. Got the awesome Doom. Uh, I did pay 54.99 from HMV in Leicester. For those that of you have uh, who have been to Leicester, uh, HMV, uh, they used to have the games downstairs, just at the bottom of the stairs, um, when the Jaguar was released, and I remember it very fondly. They used to have uh, the the games playing on a little 15-inch Mitsubishi TV. Uh, this game was released in 1994. That's obviously an ID software release. And we've got the fantastic, um, probably the best game on the Atari Jaguar, Tempest 2000. And this is the uh, Jeff Minter game. And he's obviously currently reworking this now to uh, be, uh, be released on the uh, PlayStation Vita, of which I'll probably pick up a console just for that. So it was released in 1994, and if you haven't got that, why not? Cannon Fodder by Virgin, a bit of a tally box this one, I've got to pick this one up again. 1993, that was released, Sensible Software. And another cracking uh, Jaguar game, probably um, the game that a lot of people bought the Jaguar for, Alien vs Predator. And this is uh, the copy I've owned since new, and I bought this on the day of release. I bought this from Tally Games when they had a, uh, a shop in Leicester City. I can remember waiting for this very, very anxious anxiously. And when I first played it, it scared the hell out of, hell out of me. 1994 that was released. Wolfenstein 3D, another cracking uh, game, a great conversion for the Jaguar, again by ID Software. And that was released in 1992. And then the last shooter before the Holy Grail, we've got uh, Zero Five. And this is a cracking game, it shows off the uh, graphical capabilities of the Jaguar quite well. That was a Telegames release, and that was probably released in 94 or 95, can't remember which, it's not got the uh, year on the box. And that's, that brings us on to the Holy Grail of the Jaguar uh, collection. Uh, a lot of people um, want this game in their collection, but because of the high price, a lot of people don't have it, and it comes up quite rarely on eBay. Um, it's Battlesphere Gold, as you can see, and it's a 1 2 32 player game. And it is um, developed by 4Play. I got this one off of, uh, eBay. It was uh, sealed when I bought it, but I've opened it because I do play my games. Um, and it cost an awful lot of money. Um, from what I remember, is about $550 or $600, um, which obviously equates to around £350, £400. I then had to pay import tax on this, of which I remember was about £70, £80. Pounds. So I paid an awful lot of money for this. 
It was released in 1999, and despite the high, high um, price tag I paid for this, I've not actually played it an awful lot. Um, I, it is a good game. I just um, I need time to sit down and play it properly to appreciate it. So that's Battlesphere Gold. Uh, there is the uh, standard version that's also out, called, just called Battlesphere, and I've yet to get that one. But obviously, I've got to start saving for that one. Uh, next are some racing games, and there's eight of these, or oh, seven. I've got uh, two box, different box versions, so which I'll show you first. Power Drive Rally, uh, the UK, uh, European, and US version boxes, and this is by Rage Software. It's a one or two player game, uh, published by Time Warner Interactive. You can see the boxes are different even got different screenshots on the back. It was released in 1995 and it is a fantastic uh, little uh, racer. I do enjoy this one. So that's Power Drive Rally. Next we've got uh, another quite sought after game nowadays, uh, Atari Karts. I was quite lucky to pick, pick this one up fairly cheap um, a couple of years back. I can't remember how much I paid for it, but I think it's about it's only about 20, 30 pounds if that. It's a one or two player game. And that was released in 1995. Supercross 3D, uh, a lot of people struggle to um, play this game. It is quite hard to play, um, just because of the frame rate. Um, but it is quite fun. It's the only motocross game on the Jaguar, so you kind of have to uh, grin and bear it, as it were. 1995, that was released by Tier Tex Limited. World Tour Racing, this is actually a Jaguar CD game, but it's in the same size style, uh, same, same sized box as a uh, cart release. You can see it's got the little CD sticker there. One or two player game. And it's obviously Formula One racing. And this is a game I've not really played much of either. I've played Checkered Flag more than this, which is uh, quite bizarre. Because this is the uh, better game. And that was uh, released by Telegames, probably 94, 95. Super Burnout, a cracking little um, motorbike game. Very fast graphics on this, very smooth. Uh, one or two player game. I've only played it one player, so I'll have to try and uh, get someone to play this with me. A two player, probably my cousin cousin or someone, he likes the Jaguar. That came out in 1995. And then the epitome of uh, people's Jaguar collection, Checkered Flag. Oh, I like this game. I find it fun. Um, I find it fun in the way <laughs> it's quite challenging to... Uh, Make it, make it around the track without crashing, uh, which I have done quite a lot. I have crashed uh, quite a lot, but I have played this game and completed it, and I got quite good at it when um, I did play it uh, many, many years ago. Uh, when I play it now, I do crash all the time, so um, I've lost that um, skill I used to have in this game. 1994 that was released, and then Club Drive, a bit of a bizarre uh, power-up collecting driving game. Polygons, polygon styled, pretty much a free roaming driving game really, there's not much um, objective to it. That was released in 1994. Next we've got some uh, sports titles, of which I've only got uh, seven. And the first one's White Men Can't Jump, and this is one of the ones you can play with the uh, Jaguar Team Tap. So this is a uh, four player. Well, actually, it says uh, one to two player on the front, but it's, um, the four player team tap was included with this. So it was released in 1995 by 20th Century Fox Corporation because obviously white men can't jump as a film as well. Brutal Sports Football. Nice little sports title this one, quite underappreciated in my opinion. 
and this was uh, released by Telegames in 1994. Fever Pitch Soccer, a game I've never really played on the Jaguar. It's a one or two player game, as you can see it's a nice symmetric viewpoint. And that was released in 1995 by US Gold Limited. Then we've got the awesome International Sensible Soccer, and this is the limited edition World Cup teams. One or two players. Again released by Telegames. It was released in 1995. NBA Gem Tournament Edition, another cracking little sports title for the Jaguar. Cracking conversion. And that was released in 1995 by Acclaim. Uh, Val Desert Skiing and Snowboarding. I think that is the price I paid for it from Alpha Toys in Leicester. So that was released in 1994 by uh, Virtual Studios. And in the last sports title I've got is um, Troy Aikman Football. At least on cartridge anyway. Um, one or two player, released by Williams. Uh, and that was released in 1994. So the last games I've got to show you now are all fighters, beat em ups. And there are six of these. So this will be uh, the end of the video. Double Dragon, um, The Shadow Falls. A lot of people can't stand this game. It is quite bad, but. Um, I don't find it too bad, only because I had to pay for it. A <laughs> one or two player game. It was released in 1994 by Leyland Interactive Media and Trade West, which is a Williams Entertainment Inc. company. Next we've got uh, Fight for Life. Obviously a virtual fighter style game, fighting game. That was released in 1995 and that's Pro Controller compatible. Uh, Kasumi Ninja. Uh, I've got two of these because one comes with a headband uh, which I'll show you. So this is the uh, headband version and as you can see it's got a free headband inside sticker on the front. And this game is a one or two player game, it comes with a uh, parental lockout for the violence and blood um, in it. Obviously it's got finishing moves in this game. It was released in 1994 and I'll just quickly show you the headband. I've still got the, came, uh, I've got the cartridge in there because obviously I've got the other version of which is there. Same box, just uh, minus the sticker. So this is the, uh, the headband. And it's not plain, it does have uh, graphics on there. So at the left side of it, it's got the Jaguar logo. And then in the middle, it's got the Kasumi Ninja. And then at the end, it's got the Atari logo, so quite a nice uh, little item. Uh, apart from the team tap in uh, White Men Can't Jump, I think this was the only uh, game that came with uh, a pack-in as it were. So that's the headband. Uh, next we've got Dragon, the Bruce Lee story. And again that's the, pr the price I paid for it, $49.99. And it's a one or two player game, it was released by Virgin Interactive. And it's quite a fun game this one to be honest, it's quite hard, I've never completed it. But I do enjoy it. And that was released in 1994 uh, by Universal City Studios. Published by Virgin. And the last one for this video um, is Ultra Vortech. 
and it is Vortec, not Vortex, that some people mistake it for. It's a one or two play game. Uh, the box has seen better days, so I might try and pick up a better version of this at some point. Got some really, really nice graphics in this, um, and it is the, one of the better fighting games for the Jaguar, so I would recommend picking it up. And that was released in 1995 by Beyond Games, and uh, that con con concludes my Atari Jaguar game collection. Uh, thank you guys for watching, I hope you've enjoyed this video. Um, I will have a, a follow up video um, to show you um, my paraphernalia, all the little ma magazines and things. Uh, but before I do end this video, I'll just quickly show you uh, the actual cartridges them themselves. I won't show you them all, I'll just show you the boxes they're in. So obviously we all know what Jaguar cartridges look like. And this is how I store mine, it's just convenient to put them in a um, shoe box. And as you can see they've all got end labels, which is quite nice. Vinyl end labels. And I've got one more box to show you. There we go. As, as you can see, the uh, the cartridges do look nice with these end labels. They've uh, been very professionally.